This is Talk to Tech, a live session from RigLinks where we highlight new technology being used in industries around the world. And I'm your host, Greg Williams. Um, thanks for joining us on our first episode here after we get finished with these technical <laughs> difficulties of uh, from RigLinks on Talk to Tech. So I'd... Um, Without any further ado, I'd like to uh, introduce Mr. Stephen Toops Hi. from uh, Clear Logistics. So, well, thank you for having me, and I'm uh, quite honored to be uh, guest number one. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, we've we've known Stephen here for, I don't know, it's uh, been uh, close to a year now. We've uh, we've kind of watched what uh, what what Stephen and Clear Logistics has been doing, and some of the um, groundbreaking stuff they've uh, put in place with some with some uh, pretty big clients out there. And uh, yeah, Stephen, so tell us about uh, about yourself and uh, Clear Logistics. So uh, again, Greg said, my name is Stephen Toops uh, and I'm the president of Clear Logistics. Uh, we're located in uh, Mandeville, Louisiana, which is a, where it's about uh, 55 degrees and blue skies. So good day today. Um, what we do is uh, pretty simple. And that is we help companies uh, get rid of their paper problems. Um, uh, primarily paper documentation of activities in the field. Um, our systems grown up in the oil field. Um, I worked for four years as the chief financial officer for an oil field services company in Midland, and I had paper problems. Uh, and I also decided to try to solve those paper problems and clear logistics is the uh, result of that, uh, of that effort. Um, you know, when, when I was looking around for solutions, the, the thing I couldn't find was something that I thought was flexible enough, configurable enough, and that my folks would actually use. You know, the, the guy on the brake handle of the pulling units got to use digital systems in the field to really harness the, uh, harness the power of the application. It's got to be the truck driver. It's got to be the uh, operator for the, the, the rig. Um, and until your solution can be utilized by those folks, um, you're not going to get the benefits uh, that you could see uh, otherwise. So, you know, we not only capture the information, we also manage the workflows of that information for review, approval, and reporting uh, purposes, uh, including uh, getting the information into our customer's systems and our customer's backend systems. Um, and, you know, that the, the, we, we call ourselves a digital field ticketing company, um, but really we, we don't do just tickets. We do JSAs, we do inspection documents, we do any kind of paper or spreadsheet based form uh, we can capture the information for. So all of this is uh, cloud based. Correct. Yep. So, and um, you work in a conjunction with, uh, with Amazon, correct? Right, yeah, Amazon Web Services hosts our cloud environment. Uh, and that was important for us to, you know, be on a very reputable platform to leverage the things that Amazon delivers from a security, reliability uh, perspective, um, backup perspective, et cetera, um, and to be on a very scalable platform. So as we have grown, especially over the last year or so, um, Amazon, you know, we've been able to grow right along seamlessly um, with, uh, AWS, with Amazon. No, I have to, uh, I fully agree with that. Um, our platform is hosted with AWS as well. So, I mean, uh, and I think there's, I think the stats were the last I looked, I think it was 80% of the online businesses were, were hosted with Amazon. Yeah, so it, was a, it was a very easy decision for us. And I mean, their, um, their support service is fantastic. It's, yeah. it's far not, I mean, I've, we've had really, really, really good, uh, good, good work with Amazon. Oh, yeah. if, if, my, if my CTO was on here, he'd tell you, I mean, we've, we've spun up new servers in 15 minutes yep. um, and had them running. Yep. Um, so that is just an incredible uh, capability that you really need as a, as a, as a tech startup. Yeah. Especially with uh, the, the, you know, the, the comeback on ticketing services and support that they have. I yep. mean, it's, uh, it's, it's almost real time, you yep. know, so we, We've had a lot of good luck with them as well. So, okay. So, um, I mean, for, for people that, that don't know what, uh, what working without paper, you know, looks like day to day, what, uh, what kind of things does, uh, clear logistics do you do and kind of the beginning to kind of set the stage with people? 
Yeah, really good question. So, um, you know, during our sales process, one of the first things we ask our customers is send us examples of filled out tickets. Um, and, and what we do when we do the customer's configuration is we will make the digital version of those tickets that they're going to fill out in the field look as close as possible to what the paper looks like, because that makes it very easy for the field users to adopt the system. So they're not looking around trying to figure out what button to hit. Hey, yeah, that looks exactly like this piece of paper that I've been filling out for 10, 15 years. Um, that is a major component um, of it. And you know, one of the other things we do is for every digital ticket we fill out, we have a button that you can press the button and see exactly what the paper ticket would look like. So when you're getting started to make sure you filled everything uh, out, everything there, all you can do is hit a button and go, whoop, up pops a PDF. It's like a preview. Exactly what the paper looked like. So uh, that has been a very, very handy um, training and implementation tool. You're right. I mean, the one of the barriers to market for, for anybody that does the kind of work you do is the reluctance to want to move away from things that they're very comfortable with. Yeah. I, I, people ask me all the time, well, who are your competitors? Paper is my biggest. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Steven. So what, uh, what kind of new things has Cleargistics been working on here recently? Yeah. I mean, we, you know, we, we took the opportunity uh, with the COVID uh, shutdown and, and pullback to really work on some uh, functionality in the system. Uh, we, we added what we call our divisions functionality, which really segments a single uh, implementation into manageable groups. And you can break those groups down any one of a number of different ways. Um, you know, everything we do in our system is flexible and configurable. So uh, it really depends on by customer. Um, you know, one of the other things that we've worked on is our, is our digital stamping technology. Um, which, you know, you can, from the field, you hit, hey, send this to the company man for their review and approval. It pops up on their phone. They go, yep, looks good. They hit a button and everybody's got a PDF copy of it and the information's moved. And without, it's all secured and encrypted. That, yeah. Correct. Without, you know, without that piece of paper sitting on the front seat of some pick, pickup truck for a couple of weeks. So that's uh, basically real-time uh, approvals. Real-time approvals. That's correct. Uh, yep. that's and you know, we also allow, so if it's got to go through an approval process at the customer before it's sent to the company, man, we allow that as well. So, you know, the company determines when that approval process um, it should be, should be kicked off. Now the, the, the ease of use is always one of the, one of the, like, you know, um, one of the, the largest things with people. I think the, I think moving to a digital atmosphere is not a barrier. I think it's the understanding of the process and what steps that people need to take. Right. So, yeah. I mean, so how's your, um, um, how are your uh, customers doing kind of like during this downturn since March till now? How are, how are they doing? So, yeah, I mean, you know, we've, uh, it, it has been a tough time in the oil field generally. Um, you know, we saw a lot of retrenchment and reorganizations, especially in, you know, the March, April, May, June timeframe. Um, you know, the good thing is we have really seen uh, kind of an opening in the market, um, both from a, you know, from a sales and marketing perspective uh, and from our, from our implementations. We see ticket counts going up, jobs going up, users going up um as people are getting back to work so it's been very encouraging to see uh that increased activity um out there um you know we, we've also had some customers um really take the time to launch some pretty darn interesting projects out there that you know very fortunately we're a, we're a part of um in their uh, in their environments you know we we've, we've been very honored to be selected by by a few companies is you know hey everything that that we're doing we want to go through logistics and that's a that's a step that we get to with folks you know most folks we start off with you know we're gonna do your uh ticket we're gonna do your jsa um but what we're finding is customers and their users get very used to our system get very used to dealing with us 
they come back and go, well, okay, what about this inspection document? What about this DEQ document? What about this? We had a customer a couple of weeks ago email us 19 different additional forms that they want to use our system to do. Why? Because the people who are using it went, well, why can't we do this through logistics? And it's like, we love that. <laughs> That's perfect. That's We've perfect. Got, Anything that can be added to value added, put it right. in there. Yeah. Yeah. If, if, if my folks in the field are recording it, we want them recording it digitally and logistics is our platform. Um, and once you, once we've gotten to that step, you know, there, there's nothing that, uh, nothing more that we could be prouder of than, uh, in those instances. So the, uh, any kind of, uh, interesting kind of ancillary benefits, uh, your customers have uh, seen from using logistics. Yeah. yeah. It's, you know, one of the things that we talk about is, uh, the relationship between the operators and the service companies, uh, out there in the marketplace we have participated in a whole bunch of conversations where we got the operator on the phone and we got their service companies on the phone. And what they're talking about is, hey, we've got this new digital tool called Clergistics. Let us show you how well and how easy this can make both of our lives. Happy customers uh, make customers. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> so they're reaching out to their customers saying, look, this is this platform we're using. And if we, if you guys would agree to do this, that, and the other, we're going to totally eliminate the paper in between our two organizations. Everything's going to go faster. You're going to get information more quickly. You don't, Mr. Company Man, have to take that stack of paper tickets around where you get the yellow copy or the blue copy or whatever copy out there. And, you know, everything's going to be digital now. It, as well it, as paid it's, faster. That's correct. And it's been very exciting to see the not only that collaboration, but the, the, just the communication starting about, hey, how can we do this better? Because I think that's one of the things, Greg, that's really coming out of, uh, you know, the, the, the COVID shutdown, as I, as I call it, for lack of a better term. But communications increasing and collaborations increasing because both parties the operators and the service companies have a real need to operate more efficiently, save money and get information faster. Right. And you know what? That's not going to happen if you're scratching stuff down on paper. No. That's only going to happen if you're using digital tools and it's only going to happen if you're using digital tools in the field, record the transactions digitally where they're happening. And that's, that's on the well site. It seems like uh, collaboration is, it, you're right, it is the way to go right now. It seems that um, the less uh, time you spend in the office, the more time you spend across the phone talking to people. So it's, that it's good. That is very, very true. Any big, um, any big uh, customer projects you've got uh, that's uh, upcoming or underway? Yeah, we, we've got uh, a, a very exciting project that uh, with one of our larger customers where they've asked us to feed uh, a comprehensive business intelligence system that they're creating that is is really cool. And yeah. uh, as a matter of fact, in a couple of weeks, we're going to do a joint presentation with them um, that I'll uh, I'll send you the link to. Perfect. Um, but it is it's it is really exciting to see our data and the data that we're collecting out in the field linked up with all of the other companies' data. So linked up with their payroll data and their billing data and their you know equipment data and their training data and their asset data and to see all of that at one time on one dashboard is just incredibly exciting. And we you know the first time we saw that I mean again speaking as an oil field services CFO I mean my 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 jaw was on the floor because sure. nobody's doing what what these guys are doing and we're mm -hmm. a happy to be a part of it. I mean, it, it's different whenever you're all on the same floor together. You can, walk in, you can walk into a meeting and six of you have a different presentation. You can sit there in front of the board. You can do, you know, you know, your finance, your training, your, everybody can do their thing and then they can see it. Right. Yep. But now the, these meetings have uh, turned to a virtual and you don't get the same, same yep. effect. You need to have it all in one place. Now that's yep. fantastic. You do, you do. It's, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty exciting. So one of the things we wanted to do today um, uh, for everyone watching is we wanted to do um, a demo with uh, Mr. Steven here and Clergistics. So there's a 
He's uh, he's discussed a lot about the platform and a lot about how the people use it and his customers. So we'll let him uh, walk us through a demo here. And, sure. Um, yeah, I can, I'm, I'm excited. Sounds good. All right, I'm going to drag my screen over. All right, go ahead. you got, you got yep. it? Yeah, here we go. Cool. All right. So, uh, what I'm going to demonstrate is uh, kind of the creation of a ticket and then using our digital stamping technology that I, I talked about before. So when you uh, log into the system, the first thing that you see is you see your dashboard. Um, this is kind of the, you know, where you're, you're jumping off point to elsewhere in the uh, application. It's almost your to-do list. Um, so, you know, I've got 13 tickets that I've got to do something about that are kind of in my step. I've got seven open jobs I'm responsible for. Um, and then, you know, Everything in our system, as I've mentioned before, is highly configurable. So, you know, everything that I'm showing you that you're about to see has been configured to be that way. If our customers want it to look different, behave differently, put different information up there, um, that's what we do. So, you know, I, I tell people we don't have the logistics way of doing anything. We have our customers' ways of doing things that we configure <laughs> inside of our system. Um, so I'm, I'm logged on right now just to make the demo easy as a supervisor that's got a lot of administrative uh, privileges. So I'm going to click on my open jobs and I'm immediately brought to my jobs desktop. So this is where all of the work that I'm doing is displayed. Uh, now, again, in terms of what information's displayed, everything's configurable. But right now, right. we've got just a listing of the type of job it is, who's my customer, when it's starting and ending, where, what, what's the location, um, what's the status, which equipment, which employees, and how much revenue to date do I have on that job? Uh, the, the other thing that you can do on any of our desktops is you can actually look at them in a, a calendar uh, view. So okay. what you can do is you can look at them and see uh, the different jobs. Hold on one second. Um, the different jobs that the company is currently uh, doing. And you can look at everything in a very, very, very graphical uh, manner. So I can, you know, I've got some ongoing jobs here. I've got a couple of hot oiler ongoing jobs. I've got a chemical ongoing jobs. Those would be jobs where maybe I'm visiting that one well location three or four times a month. Um, I've got some, some pulling in at jobs, but you can see kind of where everything is in the system. This is a great tool that our customers use from a dispatch perspective to figure out kind of where everything is. I mean, anybody that works with Gantt charts will be, be switched straight onto that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That. yeah. It is, it is very, very easy to, uh, very, very easy to do. So I'm going to flip back to all of my open jobs and, uh, I'm going to open a job that, uh, so I got a hot oil job that I'm doing for Diamondback. And this is one of those ongoing kind of recurring jobs. Um, I'm immediately brought to where I would actually need to fill out a ticket for. Um, but, uh, you know, we, we get the job because we've entered in, uh, the customer, uh, we keep track of customer contacts. Um, so you can keep track of the company man who, you know, which, which company man we're working for. Um, we also have, um, through our partnership with well database, um, we, we bring into our system, all of, in this case, diamondbacks locations, and we put all of diamondbacks locations inside the database. So when you pick diamondback, you're not looking for every single one of their locations. You're only looking for the diamondback locations. Um, and we also have uh, mapping uh, capabilities as well. So not only can you pull up um, uh, right. a map of exactly where it is, and again, this is very, very handy for uh, driving around the field and driving through lease roads. So Agreed. You know, we know exactly now where that location is. So very, very handy information. I'm gonna flip back to the uh, tickets. Uh, in this, for this one job, I've got two different tickets that need to be filled out. I've got my JSA and I've got my hot oil service ticket. So I'm going to click on the JSA. Uh, as I mentioned, we, we can take any kind of paper or spreadsheet based form uh, inside of our system. 
Um, we make it easy on the folks in the field because we can default over all of the job kind of header information, customer location, you know, the piece of equipment that we're working on, who the driver is. So let's say I'm doing my JSA now, I can also go through, you know, indicate my tasks, indicate my hazards, make all kinds of notes, uh, go through my inspections, put down any kind of notes that I may need to add. Everybody on the crew can then sign the JSA. Um, and we can even do things such as if, if you've got an unsatisfactory item that's marked during your inspection, we can immediately send the safety person or the supervisor an email alerting them to that. So once I will have, would have figured, uh, filled out that entire JSA, um, the next thing that we do is we, what we call step it. And our steps system is the workflow that we utilize to move the information. So right now it's in a field step, which means it's being filled out in the field. And again, just, I'm not switching around users just to make the demo a little easier. Right. Um, when I hit next step, that means, hey, I'm done with it in my step and then I'm pushing it on. In this case, it's going to the supervisor for their review. Um, so it's kind of immediately moved off of my to-do list and it's moved on to the supervisor's to-do list. So, you know, it's the end of the job. So I'm gonna get out my uh, digital uh, service ticket. And again, defaulting over all of the information. Um, and again, one of the things that we get through our partnership with Well Database is for picking the location, we can harvest the uh, county and state uh, for that location. So that is really, really important for our customers from a sales tax perspective. So we yeah. can automatically populate that information. You don't have to rely on the people in the field to know where, what county they're in uh, on a particular well location. Also save some time in the office as well. No, very much so. Yeah, yeah. very, very much yeah. so. So again, we're defaulting over all that information. I know what equipment I'm on. I know who my driver is, but let's say that uh, I am going to uh, fill out and I'm gonna charge uh, let's say four hours for my uh, hot oiler uh, job that I did just now. And I'm also going to charge for, uh, let's say, some propane to make my hot oiler work. Now, let's say I'm charging for uh, 30 gallons of propane. So we can do things such as uh, if you want to document, you know, let's say it's so hire, much easier to keep up with your consumables. Yep. The hot, hot, hot water, the flow line. Um, we can actually even have you record the number of barrels uh, that were done, even though you may not specifically be charging the customer for it. It's something that a lot of customers in that environment want to have documented. That's right. I mean, from a from a service company perspective, that kind of uh, charge back and keeping up with your stuff. Yes. That's a, that's a big yep. thing. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, right now I'm the supervisor filling out the ticket so you can see prices. Uh, if I was the field person filling out the ticket, you wouldn't see prices because that's sure. a setting in the system is do you want your folks in the field to see prices or do you just want them to see quantities? Uh, we also handle memo building. So if, you know, part of what you get on every ticket is you get a little description of what they did. Um, we can, you know, use commonly used words and phrases to very quickly build up that instead of having the person do a lot of uh, typing. Um, but again, once I'm done with this ticket, I hit next step. And uh, what I will show you is, uh, you know, I said I'd show you our digital stamping technology so what we do in the creation of our digital stamps, so I'm going to open back that ticket up that I just filled out, is we, will, we can actually configure each company's stamp inside of our system in terms of how it looks and in terms of the information that is on it. And if the information is on it that we've got on the ticket somewhere, we can actually populate that. So again, the company man's not handwriting a lot of different things. Now they can go ahead and change it if they'd like, but we kind of help them out by hand populating that information. Um, 
I mentioned that uh, you know we do PDFs and you can click on the button uh, to see exactly what the paper ticket would have looked like. Uh, so in this instance, that's what the paper ticket would have looked like. Uh, and I can then go request an approval from my customer. Now I'm just gonna put my own email address in there, make it a little bit easier. And so I will, uh, you just heard my email go off. So I'm gonna click on the uh, Clergistic support. And then in my, in my email, and I can do this on my phone, on my tablet, wherever, uh, but I click the little blue box and up is brought, in this case, I, I, can, I can dispute the ticket. Um, I can actually say, no, it shouldn't have been four hours, should have only been three or that's the wrong price or whatever. Um, but if everything looks good, uh, I can then sign the ticket. And again, this is, uh, in this demo, this is Diamondback stamp that we can put in our system. Um, we're defaulting over all of the information we have. Let's say I don't have code, so I'm gonna put what the right code in there. We track GPS information, where it was when it was signed, the IP address that was used, the method it was used to be signed, and as soon as I click save out there, um, that saved ticket is a, a PDF copy of it is not only do we bring back automatically the information that was filled out. So all of the information wow. is on my ticket, but we do something else very important for uh, those companies that require a PDF be uploaded and a PDF of the ticket be uploaded. We actually have that stamped ticket PDF all ready to go, ready to be uploaded for invoicing purposes. Now, again, yeah. this is only an interim step until we can directly send the information directly to their customers. Um, but it is a huge time saver. Uh, I can't tell you how much time is spent at service companies scanning tickets in and sure. we ticket information. So uh, a huge time saver uh, there. I'll show you kind of um, one more thing that, um, you know, is a little practical knowledge that we built into the system. So we've got a really uh, robust reporting capability built in. And one of the first reports we built was a, a report that uh, I know uh, every oil field uh, services company, CFO, uh, has on there uh, and looks at, and their staff probably takes a long time preparing that, and that is the revenue by week report. Yep. So that revenue by week report, which contains uh, by day, um, by asset. So in this case, we've just got the asset charges for that, but I can see across by day, and I can see, hold on, pulling in at number two worked Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. I don't have any tickets for Wednesday. Why not? Um, a great review tool, very, very commonly used. But we've got not only that, but each individual item that was charged, again, by day, making it very easy to review. Um, so you've already created the data point and you just brought it into a central location. Of right. That's right. Yeah. So okay. which customers we're working for and then total revenue by ticket. So not only just what we're charging for that unit, but all the other ancillaries involved um, by day, by piece of equipment. So very, very, very handy reports. That's, you know, you asked me a question earlier, kind of from a functionality perspective, you know, we, we've really spent a lot of time getting in on ways of getting information out of the system. And whether that's through reports like this, or whether it's through using our API capabilities, Right. Um, you know, we, we're currently sending information to a bunch of ERPs, payroll systems, business intelligence systems, et cetera. So, um, you know, once the information's inside of Clergistics, getting it out is very easy. And then we can move the same information to kind of multiple places. So that's kind of a good overview. Uh, shows you our uh, digital uh, stamping technology, which uh, we're, we're pretty darn proud of. Um, and, you know, that, that, digital stamping technology is what I was referring to earlier when I was talking about we're getting a lot of increased communications between the operators and their service companies on, hey, how can we do this better? Right, right. Okay. So are you, are we finished with the demo here? Yeah, we are finished. 
Perfect. Perfect. Uh, well, I mean, it was, um, that was, uh, a lot of uh, good things. Well, first off, my comments are going to be, you know, the, um, the stamping ability and the signing ability being real time from a, um, from a manager's perspective, especially in the field, um, the JSAs, the, all the other documentation that you have to go through the planning, the, it's not. And then at the end of the day, whenever you finally finish with everything and you're getting kicked back and you're getting everything signed up, you know, and there's always that one guy that hasn't signed it. And, you, <laughs> and from, uh, and, and especially as many years as I spent on the rig, you know, the having to find this guy, yeah, you know, to, because there's no way anyone's going to accept it without everyone's ex- signatures right. on. So yep. the next thing you do is you're doing a wake up here. Yep. Come on, let's have a discussion about signing these documents, you know, <laughs> and sometimes that may be two o'clock in the morning. Right. You know, yep. so no, it was fantastic. Um, Thank you. Anything else you um, anything else you want would like to bring up, Stephen? I no. I again, I, I greatly appreciate the opportunity and the opportunity to be, I guess, number one um, on uh, this uh, live uh, event. Yes, sir. Um, how can uh, how can people find you there? Oh, very easy. Clarigistics.com. C-L-E-A-R-G-I-S-T-I-X.com. It's definitely a a one of a kind name. There's no way you're going to mix that up (laughs) with anything else for sure. We got a, we got a bunch of cool uh, case studies uh, on our website. Um, And uh, you know, I I tell people all the time, don't listen to me talk about my system. Listen to our customers um, in writing who will tell you the benefits, the cost savings and the ability to get information in real time, which is so, so, so critical, especially these days when everybody's, you know, got their pencils being sharpened. That's right. That's right. When money's tight, you know, dynamics and uh, your real time stuff really matters. Yep. So, well, Stephen, we're going to close it down for today, All but right. I do appreciate you joining us. And um, it was an absolute uh, great episode for me. In fact, I actually, you know, as long as I've been, you know, knowing you guys, I've, I actually learned a bit more about Cleargistics today Good. as well. So, you know, it's a looks like a, a fantastic tool, and uh, we hope you guys have continued success with it. Fantastic! Thanks again, Greg. Really appreciate yes, it. Thank you. Bye bye. You've been watching Talk to Tech, a live show from Riglinks, hosted by Greg Williams, where we highlight new technology being used in industries around the world. For show bookings, please contact us at info at riglinks.com.